Now that you have collected your data and entered it into a spreadsheet, it is time to use the functions that are built into Excel to work with your data. Working with my first example spreadsheet from before, with sample student information, I can sort information alphabetically by any column, student name in this example, by selecting data and sort. To make sure your data in the other columns is aligned when you alphabetize, choose Expand this selection. Using my second example spreadsheet, I can use some of the mathematical functions of Excel. I can, for example, add a new row called Total that will add up my expenditures for the month. To have Excel do the addition, I simply need to click the cell that I want to display the sum, click the Auto Sum button at the top, select Sum from the drop-down menu, and then select the cells that I want to be included in the calculation. Usually, the cells directly above the calculated cell will be highlighted by default, but you can select any cells you will like. I will drag this formula across the row by making sure the plus is showing, then clicking and dragging it across the cells that I wish to include the formula. Excel will automatically adjust the formula to sum the column directly above each cell. Now that I have a monthly total for several months, I can use the average feature to calculate a six month average. To get started, I will label a cell six month average. I will now select the cell next to it, click Auto Sum, and choose Average from the drop down menu. I will then select the totals from each month to be included in the calculation. When I hit Enter, the average will automatically be calculated. Using Excel, I can also create a graphical representation of my data. If I go up to the Charts tool, I can select what type of chart or graph I would like to create and simply click the one I want. I will go ahead and click the Line Graph. Once I do, a graph will automatically be created for me. If it does not show the data I want, I can right-click on the graph, click Select Data, and then change the information to reflect what I am trying to do.